Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is the second video in a row that is a stadium tours video, and I believe the third within the last week. So this is Rockland Boulders in Pomona, California, uh, New York. Um, but then at the stadium, there are several signs that say it's in Ramapo. So Google Maps and other GPS say Pomona. And like I said, stadium says Ram Post. So I don't actually know where it is. I'm going with Pomona. But uh, the, the first couple shots here, um, I did want to uh, include them uh, because there are some cool outside, or not, not cool, but kind of bad. But there are outside oh, okay. shots of the stadium. Have, and well, if you well, notice, they're completely empty. And that's because this game is supposed to be played on July 24th. We're up there. Um, didn't realize that, post that it got postponed before gates open um, I don't know if I actually got any shots of it um, just coincidentally or anything but there were buses in front of the gates uh, full of kids waiting to go in and I was wondering why they weren't coming in and then I saw on the whiteboard and the first bus so I had like five buses over there just there and then we were the last ones there um, and then obviously came back August 7th Fourth was actually supposed to be the Niners. Uh, I know I did say that this game was supposed to be July 24th. Um, the, the camp day was supposed to be July 24th. Um, the, this game uh, that got postponed, they actually are going to make up at the Miners on August 21st. So it works out, um, especially for me being close to Sussex County. Um, I've been talking for two minutes already. But anyway, this game was a scheduled night game, but Rockland figured they still needed a camp day. They're obligated to have another camp day, so they changed it to a day game. And that's where we went. August 7th against Quebec. A scheduled game kind of, although I said it was supposed to be night originally. It's now daytime. Um, yeah, like I said, this is Stadium Tours video, so... Uh, so there's a nice walk around the concourse. I do like how this is a 360 concourse, concourse that goes all the way around. Um, and honestly, it might be a good thing that I'm talking for so long right now because I know um, when I... Basically how I do my videos, I compile them and then upload them unlisted on YouTube and then I download them off of YouTube and then do the rest of the editing, editing in Sony Vegas with all the text and stuff. It's still a long process and probably not the best way to do it, but anyway, the point is, YouTube did see, because I was just filming as I was walking around the concourse, that there was a copyrighted song in the background, so to avoid major editing uh, and having to cut out a lot of stuff, you can just hear my voice instead of that song, so uh, pretty good. Um, but yeah, I, I think it, as far as the stadium goes, I think it's the best one in the Can-Am League. I did hear rumors that they're trying to go into the Atlantic League, which I think would be a good thing, because their stadium is definitely, as I said, the best quality. Of course, I've only been to the three out of the six, the three American teams. Um, Canadian teams are a little, a little far away. Um, but yeah, so like I said, I can't speak for the Canadian stadiums but as for the three American stadiums in the Can-Am League, Brockland is definitely the best. Um, and yeah, so I guess I'm finally done talking. Uh, hopefully some of the copyright start for the for so long. And uh, yeah, other than that, enjoy the video and thanks for watching. The home of your Brockland
that kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, I also.
set orders, granting at steady intervals from 5 to 10,000 miles between changes. Okay, so this is everything gotten from Rockland. Um, as tradition, when I go to a new stadium, I usually go to the store, get new stuff, and then make a video on that stuff. Um, and what I've noticed about Can-Am League, even with the high quality that the Rockland Stadium was, um, because it was Can-Am League, there were no like cards or anything, team sets like every other league has. Um, I still got what I did. Um, and uh, so let's start off. So first of all, we have shirt from the store. Now there were also three times where uh, they're tossing items into the crowd. First time was a shirt. Second time was a frisbee. Third time was a wristband. I thought about at least trying for this, the free shirt possibly, but there was 
you know, as you probably saw in the video for most of the time, uh, there was a huge group right in front of us. Uh, and they pretty much took over the entire section. And uh, obviously, because it's a large group of kids, uh, if I came anywhere close to even accidentally taking uh, a free shirt that was tossed to a kid, basically would have been crucified. So, um, yeah, so I didn't really try for that. Uh, and here we have the mini bat, which is another collectional in its own for me. Um, they didn't really have a good selection of hats, albeit most of them were, um, and there was a lot of empty spaces, so maybe they just really sold out. I did see that all of the adjustable hats were 25% off, so anyway, I got that. Uh, the ticket stub, which part of it's gone because they ripped it off. And the free program, which was kind of cool because it was in like one of those, um, uh, I don't really know what they call it. I guess newspaper dispensers probably where, where you open the little plastic or glass store and, you know, there's newspapers. It was like that, but with the free programs. And they cannot make a mascot. That does not look creepy. <laughs> the tooth was creepy. The, uh... The food items in that race were creepy. The main mascot's fine, although it does have big bulging eyes. Uh, birthday cake was creepy. <laughs> Every mascot that Rockland makes is just creepy, and I don't know why. Scorecard. Um, this is another one of those programs where it really does not tell you a single thing. It's just ad after ad. Yeah, it, it doesn't tell you anything besides ads. Uh, so, yeah, it's one of those. Um, but anyway, uh, I guess that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, guys. And I will see you all later. And um, just as a heads up, the if you're looking for more Can-Am League, um, I'm not going to say exactly because it's not foolproof yet, but um, if you're looking for more Can-Am League videos, uh, I am going to try to go to a lot more Sussex County Miners games um, in the, here in the near future. I'm starting to get really close to actually being caught up on videos for the first time in ever since I started these types of videos. Um, and once that happens, I will probably be going to a ton of Miners games, uh, pretty much ending out the year and into the playoff season with them. Um, and yeah, I, like I said, I could have done this, could have started going there and doing this uh, earlier. However, um, like I said, I just really want to catch up on videos first because I hate being behind and I've been behind for more than a year now. So uh, anyway, I'm going to stop rambling. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you all later.